everybody, Blue Jacket 66 here for a quick video. Um, it was kind of provoked by my conversation uh, last night with Ray from Philly. I don't know if you watched that. Check out his channel, uh, Ray from Philly. We talked a little bit about some uh, regional and food issues, which got me thinking today. Uh, we brought up one card, which is the 71 Clemente, the uh, uh, Kellogg's 3D. Um, I'm not uh, real familiar with those issues. So we talked about it a little bit. I know a little bit about it. So I researched a little more. And last night we talked about, hey, do they crack? Do they curl, et cetera? And that was a big problem, especially with the 1971. So uh, Kellogg's, it's, you know, it's nothing uh, new to put prizes in cereal. Remember Pep put all those Pep pins, uh, a lot of stuff back in the cereal back in the day. And, uh, you know, Post was doing stuff for their cereal boxes back 60 to 63. So anyway, Kellogg's decided to start putting these 3D uh, baseball cards in their uh, cereal, and they did that between 1970 and 1983. 71 is the rarest. I'm not quite sure why. I think there's a lot of mistakes and variations, and I don't know if it's a production thing, but and, uh, 1973 was uh, not 3D. So we talked about it last night, and Ray asked, hey, don't, don't those things have cracking problems? And they did, they did have cracking problems, especially the 71s and the early ones. They cracked, they curled, and I told him I thought I had some to, to show. So we're gonna see, we're gonna look at some Kellogg's. Uh, and this is what I was talking about. These are, uh, um, these are the 76. Yeah, 1976. This is a complete set. Um, um, so here's what they look like. You know, they're pretty good stock. I, I, it's my understanding is they had a nice clear film picture of the player and they would meld that with a fuzzy background picture of a stadium to help with the 3D effect. But none of these that I see are cracked, but this is what happens to these early ones at least. So Ray, we talked about that and you guys, uh, to find them like this I think is is kind of the norm. But with that being said, you know, it, it comes out flat just fine. It doesn't crack it at all. So putting these in pages, I don't think would, <laughs> sorry, I got a house full of dogs, be a problem. Uh, just looking through that, these bench, Young, young Bench, uh, one of my favorites, Vita Blue, from those early uh, A's teams, Thurman Munson. Again, these are 1976 issues. So um, they do bend and they do crack, but here's what I have. I have, a, I have some unopened boxes. These came from the factory. They, I think they, you could start getting them from the factory beginning in 73, not 70, 71, 72, I think, or something like that. But these are factory, they're unopened, and I have no idea what's in them, so we're gonna take a look. The only other thing I have is, yep, I had a mail day with some uh, 49 Bowmans. I told you that I was gonna stop, but I can't, and that's my cross to bear, is I can't stop buying these. Um, I don't know if you guys ever buy from Greg Morris cards. Uh, I do. I do his auctions, and he ships fast. And the thing I really like about him is if he says a grade is excellent or X plus or very good to X, that's what it is. Uh, so I really trust his grading. So I'm going to turn this off, flip the camera around. We're going to open up these boxes, and we'll see what some of these others look like and see what's in there. Okay, so I've got a couple of boxes here. I'm going to open up. I actually have uh, – this is unopened. This is how it would have come in, in the cereal box. There's a little advertising piece I printed off the internet. Uh, 3D baseball cards. Uh, there's Willie. I think. I think that that's. Is Willie smiling? Well, I don't know. I don't, that's about. That's about as good as it gets with him. So, as far as the smile. But anyway, he was part of. I guess the advertising campaign. I don't know. Wasn't his last year 72? Um. So maybe that's. That, yeah, that's a campaign. I guess for the. 71s. Okay, so actually this here it is. This just fell open. Completely fell open. Let me see what we got here because I'm blind as a bat. Okay, so these are this is a 1980. And interesting. 
All right, Matthew's right field. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but this one is cracked. It's, it's, got, it's got a crack here, here, and here. Let me see. Yeah, you see those cracks? So that one was mint in the little packaging that would have gone in the cereal, and just from time, it's like cracked ice, really. Hmm, interesting. Okay, let's open up one of these packages here. Let me back this up a little bit. And uh, I don't know what's in here, I really don't. We'll see. These aren't, I'm pretty sure they're not early 70. Okay. So this is, if you send off to the company, you get a complete set. Let me see if I can. Somehow do this better. So they're attached. They come up easily apart. Let me be sure what year this is. It's the 1980s. Vita Blue again, Jim Rice. Young Keith Hernandez there with the Cardinals. So it looks like they sent them and you just, they easily come apart in the perforations, but it's this is a complete set. Uh, they sent, I don't know how much they were. Washington, Kemp, Winfield, Garvey. Let's see what else we got here. Larry Boa, Phillies. Greg Nettles. So anyway, looks like 1980 is what that was. Let me see what else I got here. This one seems to be a little different packaging. So anyway, a complete set of 1980 Kellogg's. I guess you could get them in the cereal or send away from the company. Uh, Eddie Murray. They're really nice cards. They're really cool. I, I think I'm going to uh, uh, just put these in some pages. Okay, let's see what this is. Again. <laughs> this is directly from uh, Kellogg's. Let's see what set this is. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like this is the last year, 1983. <coughs> nice cards. There's a Steve Carlton. Again, they come right off. And all of these look... Christine, Robin Yount, Winfield, Rice. Larry Gura, remember when he pitched for the Royals? I think he was on that World Series team of 85. Suter, let's see what we got here. Baylor, Cooper, Bonnie Smith. So there is a, I guess, a 3D effect to them, but uh, pretty neat. I don't know. These are pretty neat sets. I'm going to put these in binders. They're complete sets. They're not valuable, but uh, they're pretty cool. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Since you watched this whole dang video, let me see what I got here. I've got three sets here. I don't know what years they're from. I guarantee they're late 70s to early 80s, and again, they finished in 83. These are not gonna be early 70s, but here's three, and they're all, they're different, are all different packaging, so I think they're all different years, but first three to respond down below that, hey, I'd like a set, 
I'll send you each out one set for the first three. If you're the fourth guy, just look at the comments below because if you're the fourth guy, uh, you're not getting one, sorry. So, say hey Willie, smiling Willie. Kellogg's 3D cards, 1970 to 1983. Big years really are 70, 71, 72, with 71 being the big year. So, I don't know, check them out. Maybe something you guys want to collect. Talk to you later.